Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Brown Reviews. Yes, I'm in my pajamas, but I don't care. I seriously don't care. <laughs> but anyway, uh, welcome back to another exclusive episode of JJ Brown Recaps, and we are on episode number five. At today's episode, we will be recapping on Studio Series Wave 5 with a special exclusive figure from Studio Series. That's right. We're going to recap Wave 5 and a special exclusive figure together. So, so let's get down to the review table and begin with the recap. So, let's get it on, man. Let's go! Okay, so here we are on the review table itself. So, let's begin with the recap. So, if you remember back in the previous episode of JJ Prime Recap, we stopped at number 23, I believe. Yes, we stopped at number 23, which was KSI Sentry. And now we're going to continue on with number 26. Yes, we skipped from 23 to 26 because 24 and 25 was the Bumblebee 2 pack with the Volkswagen Bee and the last night Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So yeah, so that, those are the, uh, the two uh, deluxes that I didn't even pick up because I already have them, so yeah. <laughs> and speaking of the last I will be uh, uh, here he is, but I'm not gonna include him in this video, so yeah, you just you just get it. You get a glance of uh, the last night will be. But anyway, so um, number 26 is the Transformer Studio Series Deluxe Class World War II Bumblebee, and honestly. I really like this figure. I really like the design of the robot mode. Looks pretty cool in my opinion and very very different to the other Bumblebees that I have, you know. <laughs> he's he's green and that's awesome, you know. Like he he was he wasn't always yellow, you know. He went through a green period at some point in time, so yeah, which is pretty pretty hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, pretty pretty nice and 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 the one thing I really never noticed on this figure is the Autobot symbol because you can actually see the Autobot symbol on his forehead, like if my camera will focus, there, there we go. You can you can see the Autobot symbol on his forehead. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's literally right there. So yeah, pretty cool. Now, I would say the robot mode is quite screen accurate in my opinion. Uh, the backpack, yes, he does have a huge backpack, but I don't really care. I seriously don't care about the backpack. I, I don't display my figure space in the wall, so the backpack doesn't really bother me that much. Um, he does have the back kibble on his legs. Again, it's in the back, so I don't even care about the kibble, so not even one bit. <laughs> um, he is a nice figure, I will say. He's a really, really nice figure. I, I love what they did with this figure. Uh, the vehicle mode, not screen accurate, but I still do like it. You know, it, it's a really well done vehicle, in my opinion. You know, pretty cool. Uh, I think it's more fitting for a World War II Bumblebee. So yeah, pretty cool. So there you have the World War II Bumblebee. Now, number 27. Um, that, number 27, is the Deluxe Class Clunker Bumblebee. Now, I don't have the Clunker Bumblebee version because I already have the Studio Series 01 Bumblebee and I don't really, I never thought that I would get the Clunker Bumblebee. I, I didn't think that Clunker Bumblebee was worth having because you already have SS01 Bumblebee, why would you need the Clunker Bumblebee? Yes, I will agree that Clunker Bumblebee's vehicle mode has the more dirty paint job that he had in the first movie, but me personally, it's my, it's my personal opinion, my personal preference, I prefer the cleaner look on the Studio Series 01 Bumblebee. And and I have seen reviews that you know the Clunker Bumblebee did fix up the Popovich on the back, you know, they actually put a pin into that back, so which is really really nice. But again, I I'm not I'm not really planning on getting the Clunker Bumblebee. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not I'm not getting him. Yeah, I'm not getting him. But anyway, so let's move on. Number twenty eight. Yes, I do have number twenty eight as well. So here is the Lux Class Barricade, and in my opinion, I think this is my favorite movie deluxe barricade that I own. I think this is a really, really well done figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks pretty, pretty screen accurate and love the chest, love how the chest comes together. And you know, that, that head sculpt, woo! That head sculpt is gorgeous in my opinion, love it. And the spinning weapon, that's pretty cool too. I, 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 I absolutely love that, really, really nice. Um, 
but yeah and the transformation is also pretty fun so it's enjoyable to mess with so yeah and his police car mode looks good looks great in my opinion his police car mode looks very very screen accurate so i do quite like this figure so so there you have number 28 the lost class barricade number 29 another deluxe that i did get from wave 5 who is deluxe class sideswipe and yeah really really dig this figure i really love this sideswipe figure i think this one wins in terms of movie sideswipe figures because this one looks way more screen accurate than the original <laughs> dark of the moon deluxe i absolutely love this one i really really do really really do but yeah pretty cool i love the robot mode very very screen accurate and um wish he had more paint on the robot mode but hey it is what it is it's fine uh, it's not a big deal breaker love his weapons i really really dig his weapons you know the arm blades you know and also the guns as well you can actually store them in the back which is really really nice and the corvette logo on his chest is actually painted which is nice yay <laughs> so pretty cool um how unfortunate that when I got him, I was messing with him a little bit and then, you know, I kind of broke off a piece of the spoiler. But it's not too detrimental, so I'm not complaining. It's only a little bit, only a little bit. But yeah, do be careful if you have this figure. Don't break off the spoiler like I did. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, the transformation is actually pretty smooth, pretty enjoyable. So yeah, really nice. So it's a nice, nicely done side swipe figure. So I hope we get a Revenge of the Fallen side swipe at some point in the future, hopefully. You know, the, the one with the rooftop. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool figure. Now, the last final deluxe, <laughs> number 30, is where things just go oddly wrong. <laughs> now, when I saw first images of this figure, um, I was kind of disappointed because number 30 is Deluxe Class Studio Series Crankcase and here is in here are two images of him in robot mode and vehicle mode and as you can see the vehicle mode does work I will say the vehicle mode works but the robot mode not so much <laughs> because the robot mode that's not crankcase not at all it's not crankcase at all no that is not crankcase this is that is just crowbar in a different color that's it that's all of it <laughs> me personally i i would have preferred for hasbro to use berserker's mold the original version of the mold to be crankcase in the studio series line because you know berserker was excellent in the last night so i I, I don't understand, I'm, I, I mean I was not even in the meeting so I don't understand why they came up with this decision for Crankcase. They kind of failed me on Crankcase, so uh, uh, anyway, so <laughs> let us move on to the Voyagers themselves. So now, the Voyagers, um, we're skipping 31 because 31 was another exclusive figure which is the Voyager class, Battle of Damage, Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen. That's just a straight repaint with a new head of the uh, of the Studio Series number 13, uh, Voyager class Megatron. So that's just you know, yeah, that's just Revenge of the Fallen Megatron in a different color. So that I didn't get because I prefer the the original Studio Series 13 Megatron. So we're skipping that one. So I'm not gonna cut. I'm not, I'm not gonna cover that one. So now. Number 32, this is where things get exciting. This is where things get exciting, okay? <laughs> Number 32, we have, hold on, hold on, we have Optimus Prime. I'm gonna raise up the camera a little bit more so you can see his top of his head. There we go, there you have Optimus Prime right there. Let me put the deluxes back a little bit more there we go yeah number 32 is optimus prime himself and absolutely well done figure i love this figure really really well done i think they what they did to the mold it definitely improves upon the uh, the original studio series optimus prime figure from Revenge of the fallen and i think this one works so so much better the backpack is much cleaner now, which is really, really awesome. You know, he has these connection points for the combination with Jet Fire. Yes, this figure can combine with Jet Fire, which is really, really cool. Oh, I almost forgot one crucial part of this figure is his gun. So yeah, he comes 
with his mofo gun which is awesome which is nice and the transformation is actually pretty enjoyable as well so pretty smooth conversion so yeah I really love this so this one looks so much better in my opinion so there you have Optimus Prime right there and number 33 the last final Voyager for wave 5 is Bone Crusher and I absolutely love this figure as well man this robot mode looks Freaking screen accurate to the design in the film. I've heard people saying that this is not movie accurate. Uh, uh, yes, it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely way more screen accurate than the uh, than the original deluxe Bone Crusher. So yeah, it looks way way better than that figure. So yeah, pretty well, really really well done. But of course, it could have been better with some more paint here and there. But it's still. A really well done figure in my opinion the vehicle mode as well looks great in my opinion so yeah pretty pretty cool awesome figure awesome awesome figure so there you have Forger class bone crusher and we are moving on to the final two figures of uh, no 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 final three figures because there's an exclusive at the end so <laughs> so number 34 number 34 okay number 34 we have Studio Series Leader Class, Dark of the Moon, Megatron, and holy Primus, oh my Primus, this looks awesome, this looks amazing, it's an amazing figure this one, I absolutely love this one, and yes, I have seen pictures of the Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Megatron, but I prefer this one, because this one definitely pulls off the look of Megatron from Dark of the Moon way way better it definitely pulls off that bulky look and I love his bulky legs because that is screen accurate so yeah pretty cool love his rival as well and nicely painted yeah overall nicely designed even the transformation is nice and, and nice and smooth so yeah pretty enjoyable figure to mess with and yeah yeah really really well done figure and this is the Megatron that has the uh, you know the, the, the ripped off face <laughs> so that's pretty cool so that's awesome so there you have Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron. He's taller than Prime, so I think that's scale accurate. So anyway, so last final leader class of this wave is da 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 is number thirty five Leader Class Jet Fire. Oh my gosh, he's a big boy. He is a big, big, big boy. Let me put the figures in the back a little bit more <laughs> so you can see more of Jet Fire right here. So yeah, we have Jetfire in all of his eternal glory! Oh my goodness! This figure looks absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this. And if you can't already tell, this is, this is already installed with the DNA design kit on it. So the DNA design kit gives him some new hands, some new hip pieces, and some extra pieces to fill up the backpack, which is really, really nice. So more screen accurate looking backpack. And yeah, really, really well done figure in my opinion. The robot mode just, just, oh, it just shines. It just shines so much and I love it. And the, 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 the just, the, just the overall result of this figure just, absolutely successful really really well done so yeah pretty pretty awesome figure yeah the transformation can be a little bit fiddly at some point but you know in some you know in some areas but still a really well done figure and also fun figure to mess with as well so they have the leader class jet fire but wait there is more because there is an exclusive figure for this line number 36 which is Deluxe Class Autobot Drift, and I really like this figure. I really, really like this figure. I have the original The Last Night Deluxe Class Drift, but I think I prefer this one because it looks way more screen accurate. That head sculpt is just gorgeous, in my opinion. Yeah, really well done figure, in my opinion. Now, he comes with an extra sword that is stored in my... Uh, in my <laughs> in my treasure chest of useless accessories because I don't plan to use that sword. I love these two swords as it is. So yeah, but really well done figure in my opinion. So yeah, looks so awesome. It looks so 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 good. So hey, Stan, what were to be? So let me put last night drift 
right in there so you can get the full shot. He also have, you know, he also included some extra little mini figs and they are stinking adorable, but it's just so freaking adorable. The, it's the, uh, it's the little baby Dinobots. The, the, the little baby Dinobots, they're just, they're just so adorable. So yeah, he comes with the baby Dinobots, so that is absolutely awesome. That's just freaking amazing. I love that. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, overall, this wave has been pretty successful with these Deluxes, Voyagers, and Leaders. And uh, in my opinion, the Leaders are where this wave really, really shines. So yeah, pretty, pretty well done. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for today's recap for Studio Series Wave 5 plus an exclusive deluxe figure which is this guy. Um, but yeah, each of these figures, they're really well done in my opinion. Um, this one, this figure may have, you know, may some hate, may have some love. You know, because I have seen people hating on this figure so, so much. But for me personally, I don't hate this figure. I think he's really well done, in my personal opinion anyway. But the other figures, they're, they're really, really successful. And uh, yeah, they're really, really well done. And um, overall, in this wave, uh, my favorite deluxe has to go to Sideswipe. My favorite uh, Voyager has to go to Optimus Prime. And my favorite leader class figure has to go to Jetfire because he is just magnificent. <laughs> yeah, even he combines with this guy, so that is awesome. That is really, really awesome. And I also love the baby Dinobots that came with the uh, the exclusive uh, deluxe class Drift, who is you know faithful to the to the fifth wave. So yeah, I, I don't mind putting him in the fifth wave. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think that is pretty much it for today's recap video. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know when my new videos are up and ready. And if you have enjoyed watching this recap video, do me a favor and slam dunk that like button on it i will appreciate that very very much thank you thank you thank you but anyway so <laughs> all right and i think that is pretty much it for me to say so they have the recap for studio series wave 5 with an exclusive studio series deluxe class figure and this is jj prime signing off peace out Yay!